that some 80 years ago, when the Jewish people faced annihilation, the world largely turned its back on us, leaving us to the most bitter of fates. For many, Auschwitz is the ultimate symbol of evil. It is certainly that. The tattooed arms of those who passed under its infamous gates, the piles of shoes and sun eyeglasses seized from the dispossessed in their final moments, the gas chambers and crematoria that turned millions of people into ash, all these bear witness to the horrific depths to which humanity can sink. But for the Jewish people, Auschwitz is more than the ultimate symbol of evil. It is also the ultimate symbol of Jewish powerlessness. It is the culmination of what can happen when our people have no voice, no land, no shield. Today, we have a voice, we have a land, and we have a shield. Today, our voice is heard in the White House and in the Kremlin, in the halls of the United Nations and the American Congress, in London, Paris, and Berlin, and in countless capitals around the world, many of them represented here by you. Today, we have a land, our ancient homeland, which we brought back to life, to which we ingathered the exiles of our people, and in which we built an advanced and powerful state. And today, we have a shield, and what a shield it is. Time after time, the strength of our arms the courage of our soldiers and the spirit of our people have prevailed against those who sought to destroy us.